It's time to make another video of valuing our toy collection. And today we're gonna value the majority of our collection of Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burger. It's my favorite show on TV. So I can't wait to see what all we have. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I wanna make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm gonna make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. Well, right when you walk into the toy museum, you see the Shoney's big boy and you see these shelves that go all the way up to the ceiling. And about in the middle of the shelf, we have three shelves of our Bob's Burgers collection. There's some really good stuff on here. So today we're gonna value shelf number two and three because we've already done number one in a previous video. Well, we'll just start down here at the very end of the shelf. First, we have this Bob's Burger uh, enamel pin. It's by one family and it's worth about $20. It's pretty collectible. And then next we have a Linda figure. She is signed and she's worth about $30. I got her signed on eBay. I didn't get it myself. So I have to just hope that's authentic, but I'm pretty sure it is. And then next we have a Tina figure. She is not signed. So she's worth about $20. Now I did have a couple of big boy items on the shelf because it's next to my big boy statue. This plastic big boy is worth about $15. He does need a little bath, but he's worth about $15. He's not a bank, he's just a squishy plastic toy. Then I have the little sports bottle. It's only worth about $3. And then I have a nicer plastic figure that is a bank and he's worth about $15 as well. And then down here at the bottom, I have one little book of matches from an old restaurant with the big boy on it. And it's worth about $3. And then next we have a Bob's Burgers Clue Game. I really wanna open this. I haven't opened it, it's still sealed in the package, but I bet this game would be so much fun to play. It's worth about $40. And then next I have all five of the Pop Funkos from the Bob's Burgers movie from 2022. This one's Tina and they're worth $14 each. So I'll just let you enjoy looking at them, but each one is valued at $14. And then next I have the full set of the plush danglers of Bob's Burgers and it, they are worth I think $6 each so that whole set would be $36. Then I have one of these the Bob's Burgers collector clip still in the package and it's worth about $7 unopened. Now these kid robot blind boxes from the trick-or-treating line of Bob's Burgers were so much fun to collect. They come in these super cute boxes. It shows all the characters you can get except the mystery characters. And uh, this figure of Tina right here is worth about $15. And then next we have Louise. And Louise is only worth about 10 right now. And then we have Gene and he's worth 15. Now this set we have Bob, he's worth 12. We have Louise as the rabbit right there. She's worth 20. And then we have Teddy as the sailor, he's worth 15. And then I have this set of three acrylic standees of Tina, Louise, and Jean. And I'm gonna value it at about $15. I can't remember what I actually paid for it off of Etsy. 
And then here we have some more kid robot figures. We have Teddy as a tiger, he's worth 15. Then we have Linda as the sheriff, and she's worth about 17. And then this Tammy is amazing. She's the hard one to get, and she says she's worth $125 on eBay, but I'll just value her at 100. And then also off of Etsy, I got these cool painted river rocks. Um, I have the whole set of five, but I'm just showing you two right now. And I think they're valued at probably about $5 each. I think I paid about 30 for the whole set. So I'd say about $5 each. Now next we have a coaster someone made off of Etsy as well. And this is with um, Tina and she's worth about $3. And next we have these plush dangler sets where all of them are dressed as pickles. I'm not sure what Jean's dressed in the purple one, but the rest are pickles. And they're worth about $6 each. So I have the whole set of six. So that's another $36. And then I have these animation figures. Tina right here, she's worth about $13. And then Louise is worth a big old whopping $35. And then next to Louise, we have another Tina, and then she's worth $35. And then we have Bob, and he's worth $14. We have a piece of fan art someone did, Bob Belcher's Griller, like Michael Jackson's Thriller for $3. Now this is what all of the animation characters look like, but um, I don't know about that green one. I don't have it. And next we have a little Bob's Burger van set. When you open it up, it shows you five different pesticide vans with all the cute little sayings on it. And it's worth $35. I bought this for $7.99, so that's a pretty good increase. And then next we have this super cute Tina candle, like a religious looking candle, and it's worth about $15. I got it off of Etsy. Next, we have a DVD of the Bob's Burger movie from 2022. It's worth about $8. Such a cute movie. I went to the movie theater to see that by myself so I could enjoy it without anybody talking to me. And then this cute little picture of three different scenes from the cartoon, and it's worth about $7. Now, those are just the empty boxes from the plush dangler pickle set, but I did have this wicked witch of the past van keychain. It's worth about seven dollars. And then every year when they came out with the DVD set of Bob's Burgers, the series that um, comes on TV and everything, I would buy it. And each one on eBay is average price about ten dollars a set. You can now get the whole box set for more like fifty-five dollars, but if you buy them individually, they are ten dollars a set. So I have 10 of the seasons, so that's $100 worth of DVDs. And of course, when I did the video and I realized I didn't have season 11 or season 12 yet, I did have to go ahead and order those. Next up, I bought this little custom-made Louise doll somebody made off of Etsy, and I can't remember what I paid for her, but I'm going to value her at about $15. I think I paid a little more than that, though. And next, we have the rest of the set from the regular figures. We have Louise. She's worth about $20. We have Bob. He's worth $20, and Jean worth $20 as well. And then I had Tina and Linda at the beginning of the video. And Linda, I had her price a little bit more because she was signed. And then next up, we have the CD with all the music from one of the series. 
And I know I listened to that so many times, it's worth $10. Then we have two sets of these little keychains or bag clips, whatever you want to call them. And they're worth $15 for each box. So that's $30 worth of those. They're super cute. And next up, we have the Diner Diorama. It's worth about $45. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love that. And then next up, we have the Men's Sleep Pant, um, the extra large, and it's worth $25. I'm so tempted to bust that open and wear it, but I'm going to save it. Then I have a couple pair of socks from Bob's Burgers, and I figure they're worth about $5. And then we have this super cute Tina t-shirt. It's worth about $5, but it shows the different moods of Tina. Angry, sad, nervous, and butts. And then I have this, it's really cool. It's a movie promo apron. One of my friends gave it to me for Christmas. It's really hard to find, but it's valued at about $35. And then we have this cool hamburger hat, and we're gonna value it at $5. All right, well, if you're still with me this far in the video, we are going to another shelf of collectibles. I know you have to really love Bob's Burger to be watching all of this, but I do these videos so I can just kind of keep track of everything I have and what it's worth. Now, here we have some of the kid robot figures. We have Mike the Mailman, and he is worth about $100. Now, Naked Jean is worth about $20. And then back here, we have Felix Fish Odor. He's worth $85. And Tina the Sandwich, 75 Then we have a pack of trading cards that's worth about $10. And then we have a Fox Fall Bob's Burger promo button that's worth about $10. And then we have another one of our River Rocks. She's worth about $5. I love these. I think they did a great job. And then we have the, Bob's, the Bob River Rock, and it's also worth $5. So next we have the salt and pepper shakers and they are worth $32 and I do still have the box for those as well. Now here, this is super cute. Now this is a, the Louise figure and she's called Dragon with the Girl Tattoo. She's worth $38. Then I have this cool wallet. I really wanted to use it, but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm saving it. It's worth $25. Next up we have a Bob's Burger motion box and it's worth $5. And then we have another Tina Coaster, and that's worth $3. And then we have this Lego set of Bob's Burger figures, and they're worth at least $20. I love this item. This is a one-of-a-kind Bob's Burger family set I got off of Etsy that was custom-made by an artist. And each one was $10, so it was $50 for the complete set. But I love it so much. It's one of my favorite pieces. Now next we have a fun pair of Linda glasses still on the Linda cardboard and she's worth about $20. And then we have this cool little Bob's Burgers custom made sign that I got off of Etsy. It's worth $12, but I think I paid more than that for that. And then we have this collector figure pack and it's worth $30. There's my box for the salt and pepper shakers. Now next we have this Bob's Burger Tiny TV in a box set. It's worth $34 new. Then I have one that's also loose that I get to play with and it's worth about $20. They're super cute when you turn them on. And then we have two magnets. They're worth about $3 each, so that's $6. And then we have this loot pin, this little enamel, enamel pin that's worth $8. And then I didn't realize it, but I have a second set of that um, the pest vans in the van box that Bob's driving, if I can get it open, it's worth $35 just like the other one. Maybe I'll open that one one day since I have two. Then I have these cute, cute little, um, I forget what these are called, poppets. And I have a poster of Bob's Burger. The poster is worth about mm, $6. And the two little poppets are worth about $4 each, the hamburger and the french fries. I have a whole packet of stickers I haven't opened yet that one of my friends gave me at Christmas. It's probably worth about $5. I'm sure they paid more than that. Then I have this one sticker by itself that's worth $3 that you could put on like a, a drink bottle or something, but it's pretty cute. Then I have the Bob's Burger Puzzle. Now the puzzle is worth $25. And then this little Trivial Pursuit game is worth $24. 
I'll have a little frame print of a lot of the Bob's Burger characters. It's worth about $6. And then I have the Tina Spanish one frame that's worth about $6. It was one of my favorite episodes when she sings, Buenos dias, como esta? Mi amo Tina. I love that one. And then I have a Monopoly game that's still sealed up and it's worth $35. And I want to open it so bad, but I don't want to ruin the value. And next I have this box. It was just an empty box from the store, a display box, and they let me have it. And I always value those about $10 because they will be worth something in the future. Now next we have the plush dolls. We have Louise, she's worth $8, no $18. Then we have Jean, he is worth about $20. They're pretty expensive. And then we have Tina, and Tina's worth $23. Gotta love that face, Tina. Gotta love that face, and those trendy socks. And then next we have Teddy. Now he's the one that's worth so much for some reason. He's worth $35. And then we have Linda, everyone's favorite, and she's worth $21. And then we have the star of the show, Bob, and he's worth $24. All right, next up we have the Tina Coin Bank, and I do still have the box for her. She's worth $25. There's the box back there. And then next we have a, another River Rock. I think that's the last one of our set. And Linda's worth $5. And then we have another really cool wallet that I want to use. I just don't want to mess it up. And it's worth $25. That is the coolest wallet ever. And then we have another little piece of fan art. El Linda picture worth $3. Kind of, kind of looks like Elvira. And then we have this that I love so much. It's Gail. It's a notebook when she did the, the butthole of the animals. And it's worth $25. The talking burger button. That's worth $10. And then we have a Louise magnet. And that's worth $3. And then we have this old school giant album. And it's worth about $10. When I ordered it, I thought it was a CD. It really surprised me when it came in the mail. And it was a huge album. So next we have some Bob's Burgers coasters. Um, super cute, looks like a hamburger container with a plastic ribbon that says Bob's Burger. And it comes with three coasters. One of Linda and it says Bob's Burgers on the back, 20th Century Fox, and then the family, and then Bob. And that coaster set is worth about $15. Now next we have some more Pop Funkos. Now, the butt loose Tina figure is worth about $25. The Jean as the beef squash is worth $40. And then Teddy is worth $60. Now we have the Bendoms figures. We have Linda, and Linda is worth about $21. Next up, we have Jean. He's worth $35. Super collectible. I love it when things go up in value like this. Next, we have Tina. Tina is also worth $35. And then we have Louise. Louise is also worth $35. And Bob is worth $30. I got him for $5 at a Big Lots. And next we have some Christmas ornaments. We have Bob. He's worth about $14. And Tina's worth $14. That's about what I paid for them. Even though I did see them at five below, but I wasn't fast enough to get them. And then we have this stained glass wall plaque. It's pretty cool and it's worth about $25. And then we have this little Bob's Burger tank top. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's probably worth about $8. Then I had one more of those um, pickle danglers, a duplicate. So he's worth $6. Then I have Bad Tina. She's a large figure. Now Bad Tina is worth about $50. We have a Bob's Burger wristwatch that's worth about $25. It's pretty cool. And then we have a lanyard with Louise, and she's worth about $10. Then behind them, we have the Bob's Burger recipe box. Now, the recipe box is worth about $12. And then in the back, we have a Jenga game that hasn't been open, and it's worth about $40. Now, we have this really cool restaurant bank, and it's worth $50 with the box. I love that. And the last thing we have for Bob's Burger is a quilt I got off of Etsy, and it's worth about $40. It's really amazing.
Now coming up, I had a couple miscellaneous things I needed to add to this video. They go on other shelves that I had already concluded, but I wanted to go on and wrap them up. So I'm just sticking them at the end of this video. The first thing I have is a set of the Sanders and Sisters from Hocus Pocus. And these just came out. This is 2023. I'm doing this video in February and they're worth $50. I hope they go up in value. And then I have four Soda Funko Can figures to value. Um, this is the last of the video. We have George Sanderson from uh, Monsters Incorporated. It took me a second to think of it, worth $11. She-Hulk, which I haven't seen that movie, but she's worth $15. And then from Wreck-It Ralph, we have Fix-It Felix. He's worth $10. And then Vanellope is worth $13. So from all the previous videos we've made so far, we've made 92 so far, our total was $236,040. It's pretty impressive for just adding up toys video after video after video after video. So this is episode number 93, and all of our Bob's Burgers merchandise and our few miscellaneous things come out to be $2,764. So with this being our 93rd video so far of value in my toy collection for YouTube, our grand total so far is $238,804. It's pretty impressive. Now my goal is to see if my collection is worth a million dollars, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're gonna make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching.